This is Tea Time on Floss TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshoke. Hi, Hi, good morning. Uh, you didn't get a pastor wave. Roll your wave. Oh. She said really it's pastor wave. wave. <laughs> Ife, oh, you yeah. are not even close to royal oh, yeah. pastor wave. Pastor's royalties. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay. I had no idea about that. Royalties of the Lord. Mm. Reaching. Mm hmm. That's what they are. Are you Men too dumb? That's what they I are. That's what we are. I thought you were a pastor. Am I a pastor? That's what you said how many days ago now, Abby? No, it was Elsie who was No, it was you who said it. <laughs> <laughs> it was you who said it. And Elsie said I have to be Paul, right? Saul to Paul mm, to be right. a pastor. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. So Gabriel Union talks about how COVID. I think we've all missed church. I haven't has got many black celebrities struggling financially in an instagram live session with sharon denise she said for all the operas and the people who have just a lot and a lot of money most of us are one or two checks away from not having money to pay for all of our things so this stoppage of work and money is impacting marginalized celebrities the most she said while many influencers seem to have lived the perfect life they may not have a lot of liquid income she stressed the need to understand um, the major difference between being famous and having money saying quote i think this quarantine is revealing um, a lot of terms of there is a lot a lot in terms of there is a lot of people who are famous that don't have wealth end of quote uh, okay so who's going first in this um i think it's a it's a global thing it's not just about um black americans mm. now there are I've always said it on this table, but I think if Oma is the one who is never believing that these people can stay and not have money. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, it's not about audio, it's just about what it is. Mm -hmm. Being famous, or should I just call them celebrities, sometimes gives them um, opportunities to having a lot of things, not necessarily liquid cash. Mm -hmm. Liquid is cash up. Not necessarily that, that but um, they can live in a nice house based on mm. collaborations, based on being ambassadors, have good furnitures. You can also collaborate with people like that. Have a lot of ambassadors things. Ambassadors to restaurants. You know, but none. <laughs> so I'm just saying that I understand what she's saying. It's not peculiar to um, that area. And I, I don't want to think that she's part of those celebrities I as well, not. is she? Because but where is a life? Exactly. So no, fine. come on, man. Like, <laughs> those are two power couple. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's just... she's just speaking for those um, who would not feel comfortable to speak out on this one, and I I absolutely understand. It's nothing new to me. Mm. I mean, it's understandable that they're not like you know secured in the sense of salary earning and that they get a certain amount per month, like. It makes sense that and nobody saw COVID nineteen coming. Exactly, mm -hmm. and if you're making your money based on your performance and you're not performing, then it's harder. Um, it will be very sad to start to, that they will have to start to um, downsize. But I think it's something that they need to consider because for me, it still sounds like a nice struggle that you can't pay for a lot of things and just reduce the things that you've got so if you have five thousand maids reduce it to two or carry your baby yourself or something um i feel like you can still turn it down until i start to see like i don't know like real i don't want to say real because everyone it's real to everyone but if i start to see like desperation maybe i don't understand but there is still privilege to these people and the struggle is real for everyone but there's levels to struggles i appreciate gabrielle coming out to say it and put it into limelight i think also for maybe for what i got from it is that i can be a lot more empathetic to the fact that this particular period is real like it's hitting people hard but i still don't think that the struggle is the same for everyone Obviously, the struggle can be the same for everyone, but the fact still remains the same that everyone is affected at the moment. And um, whether the rich, whether even if you own um, strings of strings of businesses, do you think it's obviously, affected MTN and Blue and No, no, Smile come on, man. We know the people that are cashing out the spirit. So we know telecommunication. Even, we know even online even service. Telecommunications that can be argued as well because I'm having a conversation with exactly. someone and they're saying um, most of the like if you check, yes, they are selling data now. 
but in the grand scheme of things they make more money from phone calls and especially and that companies has drastically reduced so Why? um data i think amounts to about 20 to 30 percent of the money they make they make more money from recharge cards if people are not earning salary and are not leaving the houses how will they, they recharge, recharge as much phones? as they mm. so everybody's and imagine affected. how much companies recharge monthly or in a week and stuff like that mm -hmm. now they don't have those companies recharging they don't have such subscription mm -hmm. they don't have them buying um, airtime for different or calls like and all of, for do you understand so all of that too it can be argued that if they were making a million naira a week they're probably making 500k a week it's not like they're not making money but they're not making as much as they they're usually make so i think everyone is affected and i like the fact that um gabriel union pointed this out because a lot of celebrities like we said are. Uh, uh, they have charges, they, they, they get charges, like you walk into a place because of your celebrity. No, don't worry, we got this, don't know, can you just wear it for us? And you know, mm -hmm. they get access to a lot of freebies and it's not necessarily their cash. So sometimes when people say they live a fake life because they saw that, sometimes they need to know that, okay, probably a photo shoot a video shoot for something and they're posting this picture. so it's not a fake life it's my life but it's not my money that's just that's just the difference no the fake life <laughs> is their real life you, you get it so um at the end of the day i think this applies to everyone i think all um celebrities in nigeria have come out to say david said they have started touching money he's not supposed to be touching and this guy said he's suffering what's his name icock bonner's yeah. best friend what's his name again is that actor. him? No, that's not Kubuna's best friend, though. Yes, no. No, he's the not guy. Kubuna's best friend. His best friend is Alex Kubo. Hey, it's Alex Kubo, Kubo, I'm talking. Kubo. That said the suffering. It wasn't Alex Kubo. It was Alex Kubo. Okay, we need to confirm that, but it wasn't Alex Kubo. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next story. Beyonce and her charitable organization, Be Good, is teaming up with Beyonce's mom, Tina Lawson, to offer free coronavirus testing to help black communities in Houston. They are launching a mobile testing relief campaign that will support the daily testing facility at United Memorial Medical Center in their hometown of Houston. Over the course of two days, this 1000 testing kits face masks gloves and essential vitamins and supplies will be administered to the community according to congresswoman sheila jackson lee texas has a very low covid 19 test rate second lowest in the nation that's amazing um obviously for america the context is very different where we have a marginalized group of people based on race um yeah. so it's always very important to like keep that in mind when you know they're, they're lending hands and stuff. So it's very nice to see that Beyonce has also, like, done something. I mean, mm -hmm. she's been doing a lot, but mm. this is a lot We're more... We're bigger even before mm, this. But I feel like this one, for me, it just is a lot more hands-on. Like, yeah, I'm sure she makes huge calls at the back of the scene and it's helping in a lot of ways and supporting. But it was also very nice to see that this hands-on, like, I'm going to be part of the people on ground, field working. If that's if that's the word um obviously she's from texas so this is like personal to home and history and everything but still there's a lot of people that forget where they're from and don't like want to do anything for their communities she doesn't have to because she's rich mm -hmm. but i'm glad that she's still doing that um i just wanted to also just say that i liked how there was in the logistics breakdown on her website those are on the big good website there was a lot of emphasis on um protection of the people that were um uh, working with her yes and i think that's something that we need to remember like even bringing it back to nigeria there's a lot of videos um coming out yesterday from banks and people fainting and all that type of stuff and you see that the staffs that were trying to help these people were not very protected like their hands are exposed they're touching carrying people that are fainting in the crowd and everything and it's just it's really sad to see that you could actually get in contact with these virus just from helping others so it's nice to see when somebody puts the initiative to actually protect themselves mm -hmm. first before you then protect others people. yeah um i think what beyonce is doing right now is really amazing she it all started with the whole big good thing and now this i um hashtag i played my parts that i feel like this is the type of challenge that will challenge other celebrities to jump on something tyler like this perry tyler perry already well. said yeah. he would be joining in on this i played my part for his own town as well and um talking about um marginalization based on race um there's 13% of, um, what's it called, Americans are black people, right? And it's really sad that they are the most affected. And Texas, for instance, where Beyonce is focusing on, has the second lowest testing capacity or whatever it is in about, um, what's it called, 
it's the second one in the whole nation. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really helpful to focus on the places that the government can't really get to. So mm -hmm. if you're a celebrity and you feel like you want to lend your helping hand, focus on the places. Don't come to VI. Don't come. Of course, people need help out here, mm -hmm. but we know about the places where they don't even believe in this virus to start mm -hmm. with. I think these are the people we should focus on. Focus on getting the information, the word out there first, and testing these people and helping them. So I think what Beyonce is doing is a great initiative, and I think globally, everyone should just take a cue from this and let's and do, do something parts. about it. Hashtag. Yeah, hashtag, I played my part. I did I, my part. I did my part, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, maybe how else can be I played I, my part. I have part. done my part. Hmm. But this is time for a break. I will do my part. And when we come back, <laughs> we'll continue doing our part. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back, this is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Before we move on to the next story, here's the cutest video you will see for the whole of today on social media. You know, say every day I pray for you. Oh, in my heart to dance, a permanent place for you. That's why my heart is a bit like do do bad, do do bad. Cause now. Okay, so I saw that yesterday and it made me smile, and it has more than 700,000 views right now on her page. Now, this is not counting views from every other platform, and I think that's just so beautiful. Yeah, it's nice to see. Um, an artist that's a woman still doing her songs with pregnancy. I think pregnancy is such a like dicey thing for it women. Is. Um, mm -hmm. What it does to your body, what it does to your mind psychologically. And I've seen people say, what's the big deal? It is a, it is a big, big deal. deal. <laughs> really big deal. Um, the fact that she can even stand and dance is a miracle in itself. There's people who have bad, really bad pregnancies. And the fact that she's still being artistic and everything. It's nice to and watch. Lively. Yeah, it's nice to watch your artist still, still, I don't know, transform, but still be in the same kind of like soul um, while they're pregnant. It's beautiful to watch, of course. Mm. I just admire her strength and I just want to say a prayer for you, Simi. May God continue to strengthen you Hello. from now to your birthday okay um so still on see me the people that is the lockdown are inside so nobody can love you like you love yourself if you don't have to be out stay at home also if you can avoid um cash transaction do so stay away from crowded area you are not invincible and of course that's from see me on the lockdown palava uh, she couldn't have said it better. I think she was even low-key talking to me because... <laughs> <laughs> uh, How do you mean? Like, sometimes I feel like I'm forgetting or, like, I'm not... You're forgetting COVID-19? No, I, no not, if, not that I'm forgetting. I feel, sometimes I feel like I'm invisible. Like, I'll, I'll do something that I know, this is dodgy. But I'm just thinking, I won't get to chat. COVID-19 wasn't here or, like, you know. Please, don't, it's don't crazy. It but means if you, it if you feel to, that way, you're putting me at you. I know. It, <laughs> it happens with, I think it's, like, fear fatigue. I've been so paranoid for so long. And that now that the lockdown is done and I'm seeing a lot of people, there's so many, like, possibilities of infection that I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed with, like, ah, okay, sanitize, eh, don't, eh, like, mm, okay, wear your mask. What about, how am I taking off? Like, there's too many things to think about that it's, like, crazy. I just, I don't know how I haven't, like, broken down and just, like, run into a corner and just sit there for a while. Like, that's how my mind is working. So it's nice to get a reminder that... Uh, I have to work, yes, um, and I have to be outside, but I'm not invincible and that we should, um, you know, really, like, take this thing seriously. But in regards to every other person, this is such a Nigerian mentality. Like, you can see that that's what's happening out there. Like, Corona will not catch me. Even when I tell people, like, so oh, finally, I'm really... you agree that you're Nigerian? 
<laughs> you are the leader of the park. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, even when people are talking, you'll say things like, Koni Bawa, like, they'll start praying that. It, and Koni it's, it's, Bawa. I think it's more than, I think it's more than that. Like, he can't buy you if you're ah. not, like, <laughs> really careful. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I get where you're coming from because um, there's this level of paranoia you would get to and then you begin to feel overconfident like okay i've been paranoid for so long i've done all the right things maybe if i didn't get it all along maybe it won't come but sis like for real i feel like this is even the time I yes be, like, because really i cringe fact, every you know day i worse. see the you numbers know what my own is worse. I'm not feeling overconfident that I won't get it. I feel overconfident that my immune system <laughs> is working. It's <laughs> badass. And then, and like, then you think you're, you, if I get it, I'll be fine. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> so my own is I will right. survive. <laughs> I'm getting there too. <laughs> I'm beginning yeah. to feel like now, okay. Oh, 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 I take my I'm vitamins every day. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, yeah. it's well. I feel like you know what. Corona, I will beat you on so that's but, my own But in as much as I don't want to be every average Nigerian by saying Kuni Bawa, mm -hmm. eh, Kuni Bawa still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's about so, choices now, isn't it? Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, I think everybody should just keep the social distancing going like don't think it's over the fact that the east the lockdown doesn't mean you're free you, you haven't have seen to say like not everyone is coming out because they're still yeah, not yeah, like yeah, i think people are still taking into that's why what simi is saying is so true the people that are telling us to come out are not even now and i saw a post over the weekend um that they said um after the quarantine of the noah's ark it noah didn't step out himself it sent the doves so maybe right now the people out there are the doves are definitely and, pigeons and the numbers experiments for mm. sure and the numbers yesterday was 2558 this morning is 2800 and something like it keeps it's growing so it's not like we're cobbing anything so i want to see what I the numbers will be two weeks from now i'll mark it and down. guess what these numbers are not even we cannot rely on them 100 percent because no a lot testing. of people have not been tested do you understand? Have you been so, tested, you feel? Have I been tested? Have you been tested? Uh, okay. Are you ask a, answer a question with a question? Well, I'm Nigerian. Okay. Proudly. Moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not buying 150,000 naira wedding ring or paying 18,000 naira for nails. I will pay for other things far more expensive. I will pay for our child to be born abroad or pay for her to get a PhD, but I'm not paying for 100 reputation basically i admire it um why do people attach value to things because it brings um, them some kind of sense of entitlement we all have different value systems hence why i didn't say it was stupid to buy any of those things he went on to say that he would marry someone who um, aligns with his value and this is coming from um what do i call him now a social and political commentator basically yeah. Ulune. yeah um to be honest with you that is my type of man ah like it's not that you have boo now that's <laughs> I've that DM'd is the guy. I've seen your wife. wife. Like I. I, yeah, I have a serious problem with what the world has become. Um, it's even more irritating for me in Nigeria because we don't even have, anyway, we don't even have the money for valuable things. But you see a girl's room stacked with things that's not necessary and it's not needed. Um, if I can preach min minimalist, the minimalist movement, this would be the right time to do that. Just look into it and understand that there's a lot of things that you don't need. It doesn't make you feel better. It doesn't actually, like, promote anything doesn't substantial. <sighs> The idea that you need a lot of things is just really contradictory a little bit for me because I'm in the media industry, so I will participate in things that I will call like a wasteful <laughs> things, like media, uh, like the participate. beauty industry and clothing industry. But you don't need that many clothes, you don't need that many things, you don't need to spend eighteen thousand naira on your on your nails. You definitely don't need a one fifty thousand naira ring for sure. <laughs> but if you want it, <laughs> if you want it, <laughs> if you want it, let me hide my nails. That, 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 that's that's up to no. you. Like exactly. So that's what he's saying no, basically. I, I, my, I my, my thing is about I like the fact that he brought into the uh, it brought in valuing things that's where I'm going to because mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you what to do obviously and uh, if you're talking about like a man spending all those things on you that's a different conversation so if you're a woman thinking I'm able to do all those things of course feel free like the day I really feel like being fancy I will but I'm just saying like start to really ask these questions think about what it's doing to the environment think about what it's doing to like the person's pocket the capitalist system what you're actually promoting and if you're actually concentrating on the things that are important i don't see people spending that much money on books or self-development no. or like people do actually. or like mm, it's very hard for me to find someone i have found a who lot is, of them who is um who has put value in things so much that they also put value in like things that are really important in giving in in charity in environments in like self-development like it's really hard to be able to do that i'm not saying that's not possible i'm just saying like and if you just consider that why do you need so much okay things? so we hear you 
<laughs> and it is an angle. And basically, you are on the same table or bed with Uluni. And it makes sense. I mean, if that's what you want, that's fine. But however, I am all out for balancing your life the way you want it. So mm. you said you haven't seen. I agree totally. There are maybe there are, not maybe there are a lot of people who a lot more. would definitely. I would Material in my things. from my own view of things. I don't have a lot more in my clique. So Maybe a circle. Yeah, so they would go all out to get the good things of life. But when you tell them there's a book of 30K, they are still ready to buy it. There's mm. that balance the in their mindset. Do you understand? So I don't think there is anything. At the end of the day, you're going to get PhD. You're going to be born abroad and all that. Thank God for COVID-19. Last, last now, we are all battling for our life. Even your PhD cannot save you. I understand being charitable, doing a lot of things, balancing out life. But let people just do what they want to do if that is what gives them them the vibe of and course. makes them feel like they, they are fulfilled in life. I will spend money on hair. I will spend money on nails. But if no, there sorry, is somebody to, that's going to spend it that, on me, that it makes them I will feel be good proud. in life. Isn't that sorry? Isn't that a problem that like your feeling good is attached to material? It's not things? A I, I, the only time okay. it becomes a problem when you are so attached to material things that you have to go out of your way to now to feel pressured. Thank so you. if I don't have money to make my nails this week, I, I switch you back to my normal nails, do the cheapest one I can do on Facebook. Right. When I can, I do it. So I think it's when you are pushed so much to go out of your way or do illegal things to get those things, then that's a problem. But if you can manage yourself and do the things that make you happy, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't do it. But if you have, if you feel it is not good. The grammar minimalist, capitalist, blah, 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 blah. All well and good. I'm not going to judge you as well. One of the of principles course. I live by in life is you only live once, YOLO. So I live every day like it's my last. I want to leave it laughing, smiling. I don't care whose feelings I hurt, but as long as I'm smiling mm. and laughing, okay. I'm good. <laughs> mm. You yes. have to go, though. Um, yeah. We have to go. So at the end of the day, if it makes you happy, please do it by all means, as long as you can afford, afford it. it. And I was going to ask you, like, I asked you that, did you pay for it? Mm. I think what it's also trying to say is that... But me, I cannot date if, somebody that will not be interested in my nail and my hair. Let's be serious in this conversation. Maybe we'll continue we have to in the now. afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see you later in the hour. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all I exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also watch your time on Arusu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shunkeye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.